I'm Pastor George Borkhart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. The parable of the sower. Keep your ears on the sower and the seed. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, share, donate. If you like what we're doing in Higher Things, you like this video, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications in our app. It's available on all major platforms. Share. Share our content, spread the word, and donate. A tax-deductible gift to higherthings.org keeps us passing on that faith to the next generation. And we need that gospel in these dark times. A sower went out to sow his seed. And as he sowed seed, some fell along the path and was trampled underfoot, and the birds of the air devoured it. Some fell on the rocks, and it grew up, and it withered away, because it had no root. Moisture, moisture, excuse me. Some fell amongst the thorns, and it, and the thorns grew up with it and choked it. Some fell on the gra on the good soil, and grew, and yielded a hundredfold. And as he said these things, he called out, "He who has ears to hear, let him hear." Um. Ears on the sower. Now, this is one of the strange verse, uh, strange parables where Jesus actually explains it. Let's, let's get to verse 11. The seed, the seed is the word, uh, the word of God. The ones along the path are those who have heard when the devil comes and takes away the word from their hearts so that they may not believe and be saved. The ones along the, the ones along the rocks are those when they heard the word received it with joy. But those have no root, they believe for a while, and in the time of testing, fall away. And as it fell amongst the thorns, they are those who hear, but they go on their way, and they're choked by the cares and riches and pleasures of life, and their fruit does not bear moisture, does not mature. And those of the good soul, they are those who hear the word, they, um, they hold on to it fast with an honest and good heart, and bear fruit with patience. So the surest way to get this parable wrong is to start looking at the ground. You start looking at the ground and you miss the point of it. You see, you can get distracted. You can get turned inward and look at what kind of, what kind of soil am I? What, 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 am I the good ground? Am I the, am I the rocky ground? Am I the, am I the, the road, wayside, do I, does the word go a little bit and then, and then not have root? Which one am I? And you lose track of the one who's sowing the seed. You see, faith is what this parable is about. Believing and being saved. Jesus says it when he explains the parable. He talks about the seed being snatched so that the person can't believe and be saved. You're going to be in your life, all of these ground, all of these different types of ground. You're going to be um, the ground that's fell amongst the thorns where you get distracted by the cares and riches and pleasures of life. You're going to be the ground in which um, the word, you receive it with joy, but it has no root, and you believe for a while, and then you stop. You, you fall away from church. You're going to be the ground that on along the path where it bounces off the path and the devil comes in and swoops in and takes it. And today, specifically, you are the good ground, receiving that word and believing. So let's like stop thinking about, about the type of ground we are and fix our ears on the one who's going to the cross to save us. I mean, that's, that's, that's the deal. Um, we, have, we also know all these different people who like don't really fire for God, but doesn't have root and they fall away or, they, or the, the word just bounces off of them and it doesn't even seem to pierce their armor. And then there's those who, 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 get distracted by the things around them. Okay, that, 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 okay. But again, only observe the ground in order to pay attention to the seed. What's going on with the seed is what's important. The Lord's words do what they promise, which means they deliver what God intends, which is salvation. The spirit works faith where and when he pleases in those who hear the gospel. And so God grant us to be good soil so that we might receive the word with joy and be saved. 
Um, God, keep us from the other types of soil. But to focus too much on a turned in our nest, which is original sin, we're going, we're going to lose track of what's most important, Christ. He's headed to the cross to save us. That is what this word is about. That is what the word that is saves. And that word creates faith, which grasps hold of the promise and won't let that promise go and drags us out of the wayside, out of the rocky soil, out of the uh, word not taking root. The only way that we're going to be any other soil other than be the, the good, the good uh, only way we're going to be the good soil is if God pulverizes with his law in order to water us with baptism, the word, and his body and blood. So eyes on the sower, or better, ears on the sower. For he who has ears to hear, let him hear. I'm Pastor George Barkart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.